Fire! Then! Now! Blimey! The coppers are about already. Oi, do us a favour. Grab one of these lots. No, I'm not my Oi, man. Man. No. Keep it shut. Oi, I'm talking to you, mate. What the? Hey, what? What's good, future me? If you're reading this, then I know you must be bored. Why else would you read your own journal? <laughs> I don't even know why I'm doing this. Sebastian mentioned it would be a good idea for me and Luke to keep a journal. But honestly, writing is hard work, bruv. Anywho, what to talk about? Well, today, I got a C from an English test. The whole class, including Miss, seemed super surprised and proud of me. At first, I liked it, but then I didn't. Don't get me wrong, I love being praised for my efforts, but not when people think of me as some disadvantaged illiterate. Mm, two big words right there. Then it's just annoying. People in this country overhype the whole dyslexic ADHD thing. I mean, so what if I'm hyperactive? So what if I take longer than most people to read and write sentences? In the end, I still get it done. That's just me, innit? Back in Nigeria, there's no such thing as ADHD and dyslexia. If you're slow, you're slow. If you can't pay attention, then you're getting slapped. No long thing. I'm not saying that they shouldn't acknowledge it, but sometimes all these labels feel a little unnecessary. I told you writing was hard, bruv. Basically, sometimes labels ain't needed, ain't it? With all that being said, I'm still crazy proud of my C. Don't get it twisted, fam. It's not every day man gets a C, ain't it? Peace! He must have knocked him out proper, fam. What? Bruv, they're in hospital, you know. <laughs> they must have been begging like, Please don't hurt us. We're sorry for trying to rob you. What are you talking about? In it. And he must have been like, Blow, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Will someone please tell me what we're talking about? Shut up, in it. No one's talking to you. <laughs> no. Seriously, I'm lost here. When aren't you lost, Hakim? The Almir that stopped a bank robbery this morning. What? An Almir stopped the bank robbery? This morning? Oh my days, bruv. How do you not know? Everyone in school is talking about it. Where you been? In it. My man's been living under a rock. I'm surprised Luke didn't tell you. He found out before the rest of us. <sighs> what? You didn't ask. I'm not your news reporter. So how did he stop them? He told them to be good little boys and return to their mummy. How the bloody hell do you think? <laughs> <laughs> he punched them up, innit? <laughs> Knocked them out. <laughs> Had them drooling on the floor. <laughs> Rocker, bye bye. Bus is here. See you a lot tomorrow. Laters. Wow, I can't believe an Almere took on four guys with guns. That's so cool. Hey Seb, what's up man? Why didn't you guys come upstairs? Uh, Luke doesn't like going upstairs. There's no point. We're getting off soon anyways. Sebastian, did you finish college early today or something? Yeah, something like that. Hey, did you hear about the Almere hero today? Yeah, I did. It's all over the news. I feel sorry for him. Now that everyone knows he's an Almere, his life just won't be the same. What? No! If anything, I envy him. It's so awesome to be an Almer. People will love him. Not everyone is like you, Hakeem. Sure, some people will like him, but most won't. If anything, they'll hate him. Uh, mm. 
Luke's right. A lot of people don't like the Almir because they're afraid. The Almir can do things that normal people can't. And that means they have an advantage. It makes people feel threatened and eventually leads to hatred. You know, I still don't understand how their powers work. They're flame users. What the heck does that even mean? <clears throat> okay, we'll tell you again. Every human has a soul. Some people, through their strong will, can harness the energy of their soul and manifest it in ways that give them incredible abilities. Think of the soul's energy as an ever-burning flame. People with strong will can draw on this flame and use it either through their mind or through their body, hence the term flame users. Those that use it through their body are called realists, and they draw on the flames again and enhance physical abilities higher than the average human. Just how enhanced depends on the willpower of the individual. Those that use it through their minds are called dreamers. Dreamers? Dreamers draw on the flame to gain a unique ability. However, they can also use the flame for enhanced physical abilities. The unique ability they gain depends on what the dreamer imagines or dreams up when his or her power first manifests. So, for example, if you had potential to be a dreamer and someone you loved was dying and you really wanted to save them, your power could manifest as a healing ability. And that would be your ability forever, also known as your dream. Once a dreamer develops an ability, or a dream as it's commonly called, then they are stuck with it unless their access to the flame is blocked. I hate that. Yeah, I know! Those kind of people annoy me! What are you guys talking about? That boy back there was obviously getting robbed, but people just walk by as if they didn't see anything. I swear, when I get older, I'll never be one of those people that just walks by and pretends not to see the evil in front of him. I'll be just like that Almir in the bank today. I will step up and protect people. Yeah, bruv. I feel the exact same way. You two are something else. If only everyone fought like you. Anyways, you best get off. It's your stop. Get home safe, yeah? Tomorrow, Seb. Yeah, bruv. See ya. You think that boy back there is okay? Yeah, he should be fine. As long as he doesn't try to be a hero. They probably just took his phone or something. God, it frustrates me so much. Why? Why do they think they can just do that and get away with it? Trust me, I know how you feel. I thought about it a lot. And I realised that there's no point in complaining unless you do something about it. You said when you get older, you won't let that kind of thing slide. So why not start now? If we're not going to do anything about it, why are we complaining for? I guess you're right. It just gets under my skin sometimes as well. Anyways, it's cool, man. For now, let's just enjoy life. This is May. Tomorrow, bruv. My mom's been calling. I think I might be in trouble. Yeah, bro. See you tomorrow. <sighs> Here we go again. I feel bad for him. But what can I do? It has nothing to do with me. What phone have you got on you, cuz? I shouldn't get involved. If I do, I'll just be another victim. What am I thinking? I can't just walk on after what I told Luke. I'd be such a hypocrite if I was to walk on. Ugh. Am I really that scared? That Amir today didn't just walk away? He wasn't scared. He stood up and did something. He made a difference. Why can't I be more like him? There's only three of them. If they start anything, I can always run. Either way, I have to do something. Oi, David! Oi, listen! Your dad wants you right now! You best keep it moving! Your dad's steaming, bruv! And he just got back from the gym as well. Uh, is he talking to me? My name isn't David. What are you waiting for? Bounce! Oh, his dad's kind of hench still. He's about to get knocked out. It works! I can't believe it really works! Hey, hold on. He's trying to slide off. Yeah, that's true, you know? Hey, you're rude, boy! Come here! Should I run or listen to them? What do I do? What? Where are you from? I ain't seen your face around here before. I'm from around, ain't it? Don't be cheeky. Obviously you're from around, but what ends you from, bruv? Down the road, ain't it? That's it. First of all, you made my E go away. And now you're being cheeky. Oi, Mark, handle it. Where you getting, bruv? Oh!